I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so this video today, I'm going to show you all of my Kerry Smith books. I do have quite a number of them, but I don't have all of them. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you will see that I am working on mess. Um, I can't actually close this page because it's still wet. Um, I did try, but it's become gloopy, but that's kind of um, what you kind of expect. I'll try and fold it over. Hmm. So this is what the cover looks like and this is the Manual of Accidents and Mistakes. I think this is the second book that she came out with and this book is all about making a mess and um, it does say not to try and make anything arty or pretty with it but that's just what I do. I want to make um, something that looks pretty at the end. So I am trying to both follow the instructions and make it look pretty. Um, but overall this one is just about making a mess. This is probably the most recognised Kerry Smith book. I think this was the original book that she came out with and the Wreck This Journal is exactly what it says on the tin. You are supposed to wreck the book. It gives you um, ways and prompts to wreck this. So glue a random page from a newspaper here or climb up high and drop the journal. Um, fill this page with circles, scratch it, um, put handprints on it, stand on it. There are a lot of people who follow the instructions and completely wreck it. There are some people who follow the instructions and also make it pretty. Um, there are a lot of ways that you can interpret this book and that's what I love about it so much. And I think that's why her book is so popular and why a lot of her books are quite popular. Because they are very much open to interpretation and they do kind of try and expand you creatively or they can be cathartic. It depends what you want to take from it. What you put into it determines what you get out of it in my opinion so um this is why I love these books completely this is obviously a brand new one I haven't touched this one yet um I have already completed one. Oh no did I complete it I don't think I did I think I started it and stopped halfway through but because I'd stopped I didn't then want to go back to it because it felt like that part of it was in the past and I didn't want to keep continuing on with it so I actually bought a complete collection which had I think it was five books Possibly. It had Mess, it had Wreck This Journal, and then another one, two, and three. So yeah, it had five books in total um, in that big collection, which I have only touched one of the five, and I bought that probably about two years ago. This is why I'm doing this um, video. <laughs> you have to tell me which, which ones I have to do. You've got to egg me on because I just... I haven't started them yet. I do want to. I really do want to start them. Um, I'm trying very, very hard not to just start one project and then complete it all the way through before starting the next one because by the time I've done that, I'll have found five more books that I want to complete. I probably should be doing a few of these at a time. Um, is that what everybody else does or does everybody else just do it the one project? I don't so this is the companion to the Wreck This Journal. This is Wreck This Journal Everywhere and it is a mini version of it. Um, this one takes you outside and there's a lot more choose your own wrecking methods pages. Um, but some of these pages are the same and some of them are completely different because they do try and take you outside a bit more and to get you to wreck the journal in a very outside environment. Also with that theme, which also came in the um, box set that I got, was Pocket Scavenger, which again I've not started. This is asking you to collect things, so it gives you a spread like this where you've got a blank page on the left and something to collect on the right. You have location found, time, date and the story. Um, you can do whatever you want with this blank page, you can stick whatever you found on it or draw it um, or write a bit more in detail. Depends on what you want to do. There's these things that are at the bottom which I think are more instructions I've not actually properly read them yet for some reason they are upside down um, I haven't read the instructions so I don't know what they're for but this is more of a collection book rather than an art or destruction book also in the box set was a finish this book I believe that this is more of a writing book um, at least based on the cover and the name anyway um, and but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to read it from start to finish and not flick about like you can like because with these ones you can just turn to a random page do that turn to another random page and do that and that's that's fine this one I've read that you're not really supposed to do that you are supposed to go from start to finish so I've not read the instructions just to save it from being spoiled for when I do actually start it The 
the last one that I got in the box set was This Is Not A Book. This one seems to be a bit more random. Um, the other ones had themes and this one seems to be giving you prompts to either wreck the book or to create something new. Um, but it's just a lot more random than the other ones. I think it's probably just her, maybe her leftover ideas possibly. Um, I have actually seen a couple of flick throughs of this book and it does seem very interesting um, but I think it might be hard to make this into an art project. Still, it's a good challenge. And the last Carrie Smith book I got was How to Be an Explorer of the World. This was given to me by my sister for my birthday I believe um, and this one again it's kind of hard to make into an art project but it does give you instructions on how to explore your environment and um, things that you can go and collect, things that you can go and do. Um, again, I don't think I'll be able to make this pretty, but you know what is a challenge and I can try. Um, I've tried to look for things like this on YouTube and apart from reviews, I've never seen anyone actually go and do all these. I've not read the challenges, so I don't know how easy it would be to film it and make it into maybe a vlog series. That, maybe that's why people haven't done it. But once I look into the instructions a bit more, I'll be able to decide for myself whether or not it's something that it can be shared with YouTube. So that's all of the untouched Kerry Smith books that I've got. Obviously, I've got Mess, which is still drying. Um, which one of these would you like me to tackle next? Obviously, Wreck This Journal is more popular, but maybe you want to go and see some of the lesser known books. I don't know. Why don't you all let me know in the comment box below and I can try and pick that one next for an art project. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you for another video very soon. Bye guys.